Do y'all get excited when y'all going to the gym or go work out, Mark? Hey, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Asia G, and my channel is focused on fitness, lifestyle, motivation, change, and just a little bit of everything else, too. So today I wanted to get my updated measurements now that I'm no longer like on my maintenance bulk and calories. I want to see how that ended and I am starting like a cutting phase, a six week cutting phase. I've already started. It, it's going to be from February the 27th until April the 10th and I'm going to be carb cycling during this time and I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later in the video but I did want to get my updated weight and measurements uh, now, so I'm going to speed through this part, but I still let you see. So let's do it. and we should be able to compare them on the screen. I'm not sure what I do with my other measurements right now and I have to find it so I can't tell too much but I think I for sure went up in weight I know. I think my inches might have gone up as well so we'll check that out in a bit. Now that we have my measurements let's get a pre-gym snack and then we're gonna head out the door to go work out. Do y'all get excited when y'all going to the gym or go work out? Right? Work them muscles, work them muscles, work them muscles. I bet not do that, my knees. I just pulled up to the gym but I did want to go over more about what I was saying earlier about carb cycling so I started a cut um, on February 27th and it would last until April the 10th and the plan is to have fat loss but maintain my muscles and try to see some more muscle definition and so I'll be eating 1785 calories and while I'm on this cut I'm gonna be doing carb cycling now carb cycling I learned about it uh, from YouTube and then from a trainer, but I did read another article from Healthline and I'll have that article linked below that kind of explains it more in detail. But essentially, uh, we have three main macros, of course, carbs, fats, protein. So doing carb cycling, uh, my protein level will stay the same every day, but my carbs and fats will yin and yang depending on if it's a low carb day or a high carb day. And so I plan to have two high carb days a week and then the other days will be low carb and those two high carb days are going to be on days where my exercise is kind of more intense because those should be the days that i need more carbs bam simple i thought i was gonna have a hard time explaining it but if for some reason you didn't understand or i didn't explain it well enough of course the article is linked below feel free to look over it and so that's what i'm going to do and I've tried so much stuff in the past. I've tried 1200, um, 1200 calorie. And I've tried so much stuff in the past from like 1200 calorie diets to uh, not eating to uh, laxatives to what else I did? Lipo, a bunch of stuff, child. Don't waste your money on lipo. I would not advise it. I would not advise it. Save your money. But, um, what I found was actually watching what I'm eating, uh, counting my calories, um, working out consistently, even if it wasn't intense workouts, was much better at helping me lose weight and also keep it off. And I felt good while I was doing it. And so 
well, you can try all those other things. I'm not here to say don't try something because I tried it. But if you tired of yo-yoing all around, starting stuff and quitting stuff, just start slow. Actually monitor what you eating. You be aware of what you eating. And then just try to get a little bit of movement in and see how that works. And so that that is what I did. And I can't tell you how sustainable and better that I feel. And that's just me being honest and talking to you and looking back on my health journey through a lens of where I did all of these things. And I won't lie, I had waist loss in those instances. I look, I could look at myself in the mirror and tell a difference, but it wasn't sustainable. It wasn't something that I could do long term um, as far as all of that other stuff. And the stuff was expensive. Some of this stuff was expensive. We know one of them things that I named was not cheap. But anyway, I'm just rambling. I am going to hit the gym. Today, I'm going to do some functional training with those TRX ropes. I was wondering how the hell they worked. And I looked up some videos on what I was supposed to do with them. And I tried them out earlier this week. And so I wanted to share with you as well in case like you were at your gym. And you was like, what is these dangling ropes? And what? So I'm going to do that. And I also weight train, but I may or may not include like the weight training part in the video, but I for sure will show the functional just in case y'all was wondering how those straps works because I had to Google it. So let's go do that. They called me. They called me. Okay, I'm gonna do it on my phone. workout it was really good i only got to record like the functional workout that i did with the trx straps because the staff that caught me y'all they called me and said you can't record in here so i just finished on my phone and then i didn't get any of the weight training and stuff recorded but nevertheless it was still really good but i just wanted to close the video out please don't forget to like comment subscribe 
come be a friend come join my family i am growing i went from 69 to 72 three more people hey to my three new subscribers um i really enjoy this i hope that you guys enjoy it too if y'all have any suggestions or requests about things that y'all want to see please feel free to leave it down below in the comments and i will see you guys next wednesday i post videos every wednesday between 12 and 1 o'clock usually and i hope to see you guys here okay until next time